Hi everybody, today uh, I've got another inbox review for you and today we're going to be looking at Meng's Boeing FA-18E, uh, the Super Hornet. Now, there are quite a few kits in this scale uh, of the Super Hornet. Uh, probably this one and the Hobby Boss are probably the best two in scale. Uh, Reason I picked this one is because I've never, I've never built a men kit, and I thought I'd like to see how it goes together, how it is, uh, what the plastic's like, and all that sort of stuff. So I thought uh, I'd pick pick this one up. Well, I didn't pick this one up. The the kids got me this one for Christmas, and he's got some really interesting schemes, which we'll get onto in a minute. Uh, but yeah, so nice box art. It's got the. Colour call outs all in. Is that AK? AK Interactive Paint uh, with some uh, other markings all the way around. So, what I'll do, we'll get you onto the overhead and we can take a look. So, we start off with the bag for the instructions. So, we get a uh, nice uh, booklet and we also get these like placards. Okay. So, uh, in probably Chinese, uh, English, I don't know what that is, Russian or whatever. But yeah, so, so it's got some nice history on the actual aircraft. Uh, and it actually depicts uh, the YF-17A in test flight, which is good. So we'll get on to the instructions. So a nice shot of... Uh, the Super Hornet in flight there. Moving straight on into your normal first page blurb uh, about safety precautions, tools to use and uh, stuff like that. Uh, then we move on to the actual start, start and building. We start obviously, in, as in with most aircraft builds, with the, the cockpit. And as you can see, we've got the instrument panel going into the tub with the side walls uh, and decals for the instrument panel. Moving on to the wheel bay and then putting, sandwiching the wheel bay in the nose. Upper fuselage with wings going on with different parts for if you want to the folded tips or the straight tips. Uh, then moving on to the, the intakes. Got two of those, obviously one for either side. Uh, with the wheel wells going on to there as well which then moves on to the lower fuselage and attaching all that to the lower fuselage before then we attach the actual intake um uh, what trunks how would i want to call them of the fuselage joining the two fuselage together and uh, connecting the nose which i like how it this slots up uh we've got the cockpit coning point on the uh, reflector side adding some more parts to the cockpit so you've got your front windscreen and uh, you've got uh, the rear bulkhead nose control surfaces so flaps uh, uh sorry slats and flaps going on there adding some more more parts so if this is flaps extended so the other one must have been the flaps uh closed up uh wing tips again going on whether you want to um, straight like in dish one uh so flaps extended or flaps uh retracted and then moving on to doing the 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 little bits on those flaps as we move down on either side and then wing fold assembly so if you want to do the wing folded uh, that's all covered in section 12 then adding them to the actual aircraft i'll be doing mine um, with the wings uh, down moving on to the ventral fin uh, and exhaust nozzles, so you've got your, your fins, your exhaust nozzles with a little bit of photo etch. 
uh, putting the tails it's the all together and then we move on to the landing gear so the landing gear uh, though it looks complicated uh, shouldn't be too difficult to put together so we've got the nose wheel there so putting the nose wheel actually onto the aircraft with some of the uh, fins and what have you on there and then the undercarriage doors before we move on to the main wheel assemblies uh, again uh, they're big and chunky because obviously this aircraft lands on uh, an aircraft carrier so it slams itself down well it's not itself but the pilot slams it down more often than not and then we move on to the weapons so we've got the pylons and with the pylons you get metal pins so with these metal pins means you can change uh, the the weapons out if you so wish so if you're transporting it for example you can take the weapons off uh, and put them on so we've got the fuel tank uh gbu 24s uh aim nines x's a nine m's and then adding all that to the actual aircraft and then we've got a picture of what the what they should look like there they all added before we move on to the seat so we've got a main seat with all the colors uh, and a pilot looks like there's no uh, seat belts, so that might have to be something we look at. Uh, we then we move on to the ladder if you're using it, uh, or if you're not. We've got then a, a sprue part map before we move on to some masking. So we've got some uh, a mask set in this for the wheels, uh, the canopy some of the the guiding pods and then we move on to the the color call out so we've got uh, an aircraft powered by captain james mccall uh, of the commanding officer of the carrier air wing felix cap from uh, the uss george hw bush from 2017. the next aircraft is uh lieutenant commander carlisle lustenberg is that Again, Felix the Catch from uh, USS George H.W. Bush 2009. Another one from H.W. Bush, but 2017 this time. It's the um, Lone Command J. Prescott, the Golden Warriors. So this one's got the Indian on the tail. And this one is Panel Unknown, United States Strike, Foot, Strike Fighter tactics instructor program from 2019 so we all know recognize the aircraft this is from i'm not going to say it so i don't get a copyright strike but you know you all know what where that aircraft is from and then we get one we all the uh, ordnance decal placing and the uh, color call outs so that's a really really good informative book lots of information in there so what we'll do we'll move straight on to the plastic i've already opened all these to make it a lot easier and we start off with the upper fuselage and hopefully you can see how nicely this is molded some really nice detail some nice crisp panel lines and rivets all the way through Next up is the, the low fuselage. So the low fuselage, again, really nice recess detail. Uh, these grills and what have you here are really, really nicely done. I don't know if you'll be able to pick that out, but really nicely done. Next up, we have the cockpit. So we've got the cockpit there. Nice raised detail. Only problem I can envision seeing is those two injection pin marks within the actual, uh, well, those should be covered by the seat, but we don't know how visible those ones near the front are gonna be. And then something that goes just behind the cockpit. Open the clear parts just yet. 
Weapons, we've got three here, and I like how these weapons, this uh, missile here, is all one piece. We don't have to worry about getting the fins in the right or way. Uh, so you don't have to join it together. So that looks really, really nice. This one, we have to add the pins and all that sort of stuff on it. So the, the fins on it, so the rear fins and the front pins. But again, it's really, really nicely molded. In this next bag, we've got a couple of screws, but I think they're just uh, doubles. So we'll have a look at that in just a minute. So, we'll start off with these two. So, we have two, okay, of the, the guided bombs. So you can see they've got the different uh, fins. Uh, sorry, different for the fins, and they should slot in nicely with the front fins on there, too. We've got two of these, so we've got fuel tanks, rear, uh, the tail, the exhaust. There's two different types, I don't know there's, there's two different types on the aircraft, so you can see one. It's got the, you can see the blades and one hasn't. But again, it's all really nicely moulded. So we've got part of the seat, the tail, some of the pylons, moving around to the, the pilot. There's the other part of the seat. So again, looks really, really nice. Next bag has got a single sprue plus a clear part. Some clear parts, I'll just put them to one side for a minute. And then in this part, we've got the uh, the intake. Well, I don't know what they call it. You know, well, it's just the intake part. So we've got the intake part again, really nicely molded, uh, like how. These parts are molded. Uh, a lot of places they just mold them so they're solid, but you can actually see they're hollowed out, which is really, really nice. Uh, I think those bits are the side, bits that goes this side of the intakes. And then we've got the, the nose section, the front forward fuselage, the two halves. Again, really nice mold. And the one piece nose which again it's going to be great for adding your uh, nose weight the instant panel just there is really really nicely nicely done so we've got a couple of screws in this one so let's put that one out of the way for a minute and then we've got two of these which are our uh Another set of guided bombs, so you can see, again, really, really nice fins. Unfortunately, it's, you know, it's two parts, so you're going to have to probably restore some detail when getting rid of uh, seam lines and stuff like that. Uh, and again, some nicely moulded fins on there. Then we've got the wheel wells, the intakes and some of the undercarriage bits we'll start with these wheel wells so as you can see they're done really really nicely you can see there all the wiring all the rivet detail so picking all that out and really going to town town it's really really an option with this or because it's not going to be seen you can just leave it as is so again so they're the the main wheelways that's the nose the walls for the nose bits the walls or the bulkheads for the main wheels, tires and wheels and tires. Moving on to the nicely molded. That's really nicely molded. All one piece. 
nose nose wheel lovely lovely uh mold in there so yeah really really nice Should have come out easier than that. A few more clear parts, and then we've got the tail again, some nice rib detail, some nice recess work, same as on, on this one. Some really nice grill work that they've done on there. So it's a really, really nice molding, really crisp. Final grey plastic screw. And in this one we have, again, two more uh, weapons pylons. Again, these ones are all one piece. Uh, really nice and moulded. So they'll be quite good to build or paint. And then we move on to the lower wings, you can see. Got some really nice detail there, some really good where the holes are for all the weapons. Uh, we have the folded parts and I'm assuming, yes, those bits there are the parts to be able to mount onto the wings to have the extended or folded. Moving on to the clear parts, I'm not taking this out as such because it's all got a, a plastic within a plastic bag. Uh, I don't want to damage that clear part because I don't know when I'm going to get a chance to build it. But if it's anything to go by with these clear parts, like they're all for uh, the guided missiles and stuff like that, you know, all really, really nicely molded, really clear plastic. That brings us to the decal sheet. So within a decal sheet, you get these lovely bits of butt wedge for the as grill there and for the engine uh, nozzle area. That's really nice. We also get the little pins so we can make our weapons untouchable. We then have our masking sheet for our wheels and our canopy. Before we move on to our decal sheet. So we get two, two decal sheets. Okay. And as you can see, it's printed by Codgraph, So you shouldn't really have any problems with them. So that's like all the stencil data. And then we've got all the, all the other bits and pieces for uh, the aircraft and uh, looking at the uh, the decals are really really nicely rendered and really cut close to the the actual outside of the decal himself of the carrier film so yeah really really nice the problem you problems you're probably going to be having all with with these types because you can see You've got the three on three and it's all one. So you can actually, oh, you can actually see that. So you've got to be careful with silver on that one, but you know, that's that's a must because of the type of decal it is. But no, really, really nice decal sheet. So that's the Meng Hornet. It looks absolutely beautiful. Some lovely, lovely details on there. Uh, not a lot of parts for what it is if that makes sense but what they've done with those parts is absolutely brilliant it's really really nice and i'm really looking forward to actually building this one i don't know what it'll be but yeah i think it'll turn out to a be uh, you know a cracking build anyway so that's the the main hornet uh thanks for watching guys and i will see you on this one bye for now